Hi, my name is Joshua and in this video we're going to talk about useful CSS that is part of payload. What do I mean with this? Payload CMS, the backend, comes with a lot of classes and CSS that we can make use of very easily. Now, this is an example dashboard I prepared where I nearly exclusively use classes that are already part of Tailwind uh, of Payload. I'm also using Tailwind, in this case only for positioning and padding and so on. Everything else is with Tailwind, <laughs> with Payload classes. Now there are some benefits to this. First, everything looks like it's part of the same system, it's very cohesive. The next thing is, if we switch to dark mode, everything magically works in dark mode as well. Now it goes even further, if you create a theme or a custom theme, for example, with our theme generator and you add this to your style, now go back and magic again, everything works again with the classes. This also works for light mode and dark mode. We go back. Perfect. Now let's get rid of the theme again. The next important thing we're going to look at in this video is how to combine Tailwind and Payload. Because one problem you're going to stumble upon sooner or later is that you want to use Tailwind in your, your backend, but the problem is that you cannot really use the colors. But luckily there is a very easy fix for that. And you can see this already here. I have all the colors listed that are part of the Tailwind uh, of the Payload config. And these are all Payload. Um, all Tailwind backgrounds. If we go into the code of the dashboard, you see I have BG error, B200, I have BG elevation, and you can achieve this very simply by extending the colors in your Tailwind config with all the variables. Now you don't have to type out this all by hand. We prepared a code snippet, and this is the next big thing of this video. We are introducing snippets, uh, 10x snippets. If you go to snippets.10xmedia.de, you will come to this these snippets and here you simply have extending Tailwind colors. You click on it and here you have the code that you can simply copy paste into your Tailwind config and you have all the colors available. Now you also have the option to copy it with the accent color. If you generated a theme with our theme generator, it's gonna add this additional color. And the cool thing is with these theme variables, all of them are inverted in dark mode as well. So you see, this is the tailwind defined, uh, the tailwind defined colors. But if I switch to dark mode now again, they are inverted as well. So you don't actually need to use the dark attribute, you simply use the colors. And if you adhere to the tailwind colors, uh, the payload colors, then everything gets inverted as well. Now, let's go through this element by element and see how we can use these classes. Let's start at the top. Here we have a ta um, tabs. Now these are actually the same tabs as payload uses uh, right here and we can use that very easily if you go again on snippets.tenxmedia.de we can go to tabs and see here an example of how to use them because you simply need to enclose all of the tabs in a docs so, uh, minus tabs underscore underscore tabs you then have the individual doc tab and you have the doc tab link and we implemented this here in the dashboard with headless UI and yeah what you simply you create a normal headless UI tab group uh, with a tab list and then you include the payload classes. The next thing we have are several different types of panels. You see this panel, you see this panel, these are also all standard payload panels if we go to panel. This is from the collapsible actual, actually, but if you copy these classes, you make any panel look like this. And this is from the off fields in the account settings, the panel. You copy this and make any panel look like this. And 
yeah, here we have the result. Now you see this is color green. Here we actually made use of the success color. And the next big point is you can use all of the variables. If we go to colors, all of the variables that payload defines or comes with. You can do this now in multiple ways. If we go to the definition, we have it here. First option is we simply use it in a style like background color, var, theme success 150. But as we earlier added these colors into Tailwind, we can omit this or delete this and simply say BG success 150. And we can say text success success 850 now we delete the style actually and it should look exactly the same as before let's reload this it takes a moment and perfect now to demonstrate this we can also make change the color here let's demo, uh, change this color to bg uh, warning 150 and text warning 8.50 let's reload perfect and we have this here now just to demonstrate again if we set this on light mode these colors inverted as well because payload or the style sheet from payload inverts all the defined colors the next thing we have is we have these buttons. These button styles are also very simple. Simple. We go to buttons. The base style with every button is defined with BTN. Then you have the style, which could be BTN minus minus style minus primary or secondary. And then you define the size of the button. BTN minus minus size small or size medium. There is no size large. Maybe there has been in the past, but now there is not anymore. And yeah, you simply add your buttons to or these button styles to any diff you have and you're ready to go. Now here we used the panel from the collapsible, but we also used different typographies. Now payload, you may have already noticed this, but you can simply include H tags and payload styles them themselves. And here we also have different, here is this light text and this highlighted text This you can achieve easily with docs, doc minus controls underscore underscore value, which is an important text. And you have underscore underscore label, which is secondary text. Now here we see we have a created, which is the secondary text and the actual date, which is the important text. Another element we can use is the pill element. Now, this is this one, and we can see this, for example, if we go into any, I made this a link, if we go into any, um, if we go into any collection, you can see here we have this create new, which is a pill, and the class you can use for this is simply pill. There's also a light pill, which has a white background, which is pill and pill minus 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 style minus white. But in this case, this class only sets a background color and this color. So you can replace this now with any with any of the tailwind colors we just defined. What we also have, and this is the last element I want to talk about, is the inputs. Now, you can... Many of these elements you can import directly from payload as React elements. But if you want to create your own, use these classes. And this looks like we have here the inputs. Yes, this is the most basic. It is just this rectangle with shadow. We get this from field type text with an input. And we can get then more complex. We can add a label with field minus label and yeah we can add also some content and then we also have the text area which is a little bit more more complicated with field type text area field label field minus description simply copy paste this and adjust the classes however you need 
And at the end, you get style or a dashboard or any other element that has the same style as the payload, adheres to the color schemes and light mode, dark mode, and any theme that you might generate. Now, this list of snippets of classes we have here is not exhaustive. So if you have anything you would like to add, please just click on submit component. There's a little form you can fill in and we will add that here. Also add any um, your Twitter handle or anything we can give your attribution to. So we will note down all the people or mention all the people that have contributed to this. Okay, that's it for today. I hope this was useful to do uh, to you and see you the next time.